we now learn how to calculate logarithms for which the base is greater than the number that's plugged inside it. For instance, let's say we have to calculate log base 4 of 2. Well, to begin with, we can say that we know that this has to equal to something, so let's call that something x. In other words, we want to find what x has to be. Looking at this, we can see that this equation is written in logarithmic form. So the first thing we're going to do is to rewrite it in its exponential form. And to do that, we're going to use the well-known result, which is if log base b of some number a equals to c, then this can be rewritten as b raised to the power of c equals to a, where this first expression on the left is written in logarithmic form, and the expression on the right is written in exponential form. So using this, let's go ahead and rewrite our equation in exponential form. That would be 4 raised to the power of x equals to 2. And now that we've done that, we need to make sure that both sides of the equation are written as powers of the same number. And looking at this, we have 4 on the left-hand side and 2 on the right-hand side. And the key thing to notice here is that 4 is equal to 2 to the power of 2. Indeed, we have 4, which equals to 2 to the power of 2. So using that fact, we can rewrite the left-hand side as 2 to the power of 2, all of which is raised to the power of x, equals to 2. Now, on the left-hand side, these exponents multiply together to give us 2 to the power of 2x equals to 2. And this 2 on the right-hand side, well, that's 2 to the power of 1. So we can go ahead and add that power 1, like so. Now that both sides of the equation are written as powers of the same base, we can get rid of the bases and equate the exponents. And that would be 2x equals to 1. Solving this equation leads us to x equals to 1 over 2. And that's the answer. Indeed, log base 4 of 2 is equal to 1 over 2, or simply a half. And we could, of course, write this in exponential form. Indeed, that would be 4 to the power of 1 over 2 equals to 2, which is saying that the square root of 4 equals to 2. And we're done. Let's look at another example. Say we're asked to calculate log base 8 of 2. Well, again, to begin with, we can go ahead and say that this has to equal to some value x. And once more, we notice that this expression is in its logarithmic form. So let's go ahead and write it in its exponential form. That would be 8 raised to the power of x equals to 2. We now want to make sure that both sides of the equation are written as powers of the same number. And the key thing to notice here is that on the left-hand side, this 8 can be written as a power of 2. Indeed, we have 8 equals to 2 to the power of 3. Consequently, we can rewrite the left-hand side as 2 to the power of 3, all of which is raised to the power of x, equals to 2. And these powers on the left-hand side multiply together to leave us with 2 to the power of 3x equals to 2. And this 2 on the right-hand side, well, that's 2 to the power of 1. And now that both sides of the equation are written as powers of the same number, we can get rid of the bases altogether and equate the exponents. And that would be 3x equals to 1. Finally, solving this equation, we find x equals to 1 over 3, or 1 third. In other words, we have log base 8 of 2 is equal to 1 over 3. And that's the answer. We could also write this in exponential form as 8 to the power of 1 over 3 equals to 2, which is another way of saying that the cubic root of 8 is equal to 2. And there we have it. That's how we can calculate logarithms when the base is greater than the number that's put inside the logarithm. And that's it for this tutorial.